Welcome to the studio. It's Froyal here. I'm so glad you joined me. Today we're working on our 100 days of collage and baby, this theme is beautiful. Right, so today I'm really excited about using black and white. I love black and white. I love the dramatic contrast. I think that's why I like it so much. I do, I do really like dramatic contrast. Now, this is a print for my very first stencil design with PM Artist Studio. I'm absolutely loving it. If you saw yesterday's episode, you'll know all about it. If not, this is a poem that I wrote to myself, oh, like seven years ago as a word of encouragement to uplift myself because baby, we are responsible for our own happiness. And I gave it to the girls at PM Artist Studio and we turned it into this beautiful script mask which is this and this is what i've used to create this print the mask also comes in a smaller size which is beautiful and look i haven't painted on it yet <laughs> and also they developed the design as a foam stamp which is glorious love it had so much fun with that yesterday so today i want to use the black and white print that i have and I've pulled out some other papers from my scrap box, from other di different printing sessions. Now, this is just normal bubble wrap printed onto uh, standard black tissue paper from the cheap shop with bubble wrap, hello, and white paint. It's just gorgeous. This one I've flicked around with my pastry brush, and then I have some handmade circles that was inspired by the beehive circles. I know, beautiful collage pieces that I've made that are then in a box waiting for their time to shine. <laughs> so today I'm going to use these. Now our theme is stairs or steps. I'm still in week three. These will be the last two collages in my art journal page for week three of our 100 days of collage. And that's pretty exciting. I'm going to do two today and I'm going to start with this fabulous black and white design. And then we'll see where we might head. What I love about this design is the free flowing form of the text. It's absolutely glorious. You can't actually read what it says, but you'll know what it says if you read the poem on my website. <laughs> but what it does is creates a beautiful texture that really contributes to your collage. So I'm going to use two sections of it, probably something like that. And then I'm going to put some of these other beautiful black and white pieces. So I'm just going to go ahead, cover the page, and then we'll decide how we're going to add the stairs on. Right, so that is a fabulous start to today's collage in our black and white theme. Yay, loving that. I love getting a really good solid background down first and then decide how I want to proceed. Of course, I do like adding a second layer to my collage and that usually works well with um, papers that are more transparent or papers that are more textured. So what have we got? Well, let's see. I have some of this paper. I love this paper. It's so soft and it does go quite transparent. So I'm going to put this somewhere, maybe just here. And that creates another texture and another layer. And I really like the look of those. It looks like bubble wrap to me. It's beautiful paper and it matches well with our bubble wrap prints. So I think I'll put another little piece up the top. 
up here somewhere. Oh, love it. I just love it. <laughs> I definitely think I should add some of my fabulous circle shapes. This I just do on white tissue with like a tube or a roll from something. Bit of black paint in an absolute frenzy of mark making. You make a whole heap at once and then you have it for when you want it for your fabulous collage. Yay! So we'll put some circles there. Yes, I'm liking that. Do we want some more? You know, we could. We could, we could. What about if we put two over here on the other side? Okay, I like that idea. Like right here. Quick decisions today. <laughs> We're moving fast. I'm going to get through two pages. <laughs> right. So let's put that one there. That looks fabulous. Love it. You really can't go wrong if you pick like a black and white um, color scheme. How can you go wrong? Nothing's going to clash. It's just a matter of what shapes you like, how many layers you want to create. And I'm loving this. You know, that looks pretty good too. Okay. Which one? That one? Oh, that one. Mm, go on with the behind. <laughs> quick, quick, quick decisions. I might just stick the whole thing on. And I think we're going to move on to the other page while we're waiting for this one to dry. I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Righto. This beehive paper does go quite transparent. And we'll just see those fabulous circle shapes. So that's going to look really good. Cut that off the edge and we'll see how that looks. Now I'm definitely going to put some contrasting color as my steps and we are going to wait for it to dry. So that is looking fabulous. I'm loving the layers of the black and white and I love the different shapes. I love the beautiful text that we've started with and the circle layers on top. So when I think about significant steps I've taken in my life. The most impacting in recent years was the step I took coming from Australia, moving to back to New Zealand, finding my birth family, my culture, my history. It was huge. It was huge. <laughs> um, which is a significant meaning of my tamuku here, which is the tattoo on my um, and if you want to know more about that story, you can find it here on this episode. PM Artist Studio sent me a stencil, which was this one here that I took the print of. And it so impacted me because it was so similar shape to my tamuku that I'm like, oh my gosh, who are you? <laughs> so it actually began a beautiful friendship. <laughs> And the significance of this print is the step that I took in finding my family and coming home to back to New Zealand. And it completely changed my life, like entirely changed me as a person, not just because it's changed the location and country, but what it's done for me significantly in strengthening who I am, in understanding my identity, in affirming my self-worth, all these things you'll hear me talking about often because I deeply, deeply believe that your creativity is connected to these aspects of your heart and life. And when you can really tap into that and you can create and affirm to yourself that you like your creativity, you're actually taking that step towards self-appreciation and value of self. And these are the things that I'm really absolutely and completely passionate about, um, determined to encourage here on my channel and comes through my art. So this particular print, this stencil from these girls was really like so incredibly impacting in an important step in my life. And it absolutely means so much to me. So for my last steps or stairs page of this beautiful theme this week, I'm going to use one of these two. Now, which one am I going to use? <laughs> Can you just tell me? I'm liking the blues and turquoise. We're definitely going in blues and turquoise for this page. 
but I haven't decided on which one it's going to be. It's either that one or that one. Now, I think the stencil's called Swirly Swirl Something, but uh, you can find it. And if you go to the description under the video, you'll find a discount code for PM Artist Studio as well. You definitely want to access that. Now, I'm also loving this print, which is a gel print. I basically just scribbled the paint on literally with one of these and the applicator onto the gel plate and took the print. I love it. Now, what I love about it is the absolute freedom of expression in doing something so random. I love the mark that it makes. I love the color of it. So I'm going to use some of this with one of these two. <laughs> now, this one is pretty closely aligned. That would all be very harmonious. But this print is a little different in coloring and would probably stand out more. So I'm thinking, let's go with this one. Now, I'm loving this. I might put it this side of my page. But how much of this print do I want to use? Do I want to cut a shape? I have cut a circle out of this print before and it works really well. But I don't know if I want to do that today. I might keep most of it like that, perhaps. Oh, man. And of course, then I have other beautiful blues and turquoises that I've pulled out of my scrap box that I can use on this page as well. It's just going to be difficult to decide because there's so many beautiful options. That looks pretty cool. Yes, it does. Okay. <laughs> I'm really liking this piece. This is just on paper packaging, but it's got a great color. It's got a great feel. It's got a little bit of powdered pigment on it. So what about if I cut the edge so it can go along like that? And we start with that piece. This looks really nice under it. We could put that on there like that. That would cut off there. So we could take some of that and we could maybe add it somewhere else. Yeah, that's going to work. Let's do that. We're just going to have to make decisions and move along. Sometimes the steps in life don't always work out the way you'd hope. I've had a lot of those. I've had a lot of exhibitions that didn't turn out as great as I'd like. I've had some very disappointing things happen in my lifetime, but you've got to keep walking and you've got to keep moving forward and keep hoping that the steps you do take are going to lead you to greater opportunities. Yes, I'm loving that. It's beautiful. It has really strengthened me as a person in finding my history and my way home. And I would have never had done that if it wasn't for my friend, Alison, who literally forced me into it. <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but she really did. She harassed me until I finally conceded and said, yes, okay, I'll find my birth family. Really, I wouldn't have done it on my own. Uh, it took way too much strength and courage for me to even contemplate because I had struggled all my life with a feeling of abandonment and I didn't want to give someone else an opportunity to reject me again. So I just didn't. But she insisted and we did end up finding all of my birth family, both sides, and the story of why I was adopted and where I'd come from. And I'm telling you, it was a huge, scary step, but it has been well worth the journey. What do we think about that? Yeah, I know, it's kind of a little weird. I know, but, but it's not gonna stay that way and we're going to add more layers. So I think I'll start with that. I'll put that down, oh, loving this. I think I'll put these papers down and then we'll change them by adding some more layers to it i think that'll work sometimes you just got to head in the general direction of where you want to go and then change things as you start moving along you have to get yourself moving because creativity inspires creativity so if you get yourself moving you can always change direction once you actually get going 
So don't be afraid to start with your collage. You can always change it if you don't like it. You can always add more paint or paper or change things up as you start moving along. But you have to, first of all, at least be willing to get off the starting blocks and start moving. I'm liking that. Let's begin with that. So that's a good start. Those papers are down and they're looking beautiful. Now, where do I want to add these other papers? Things often change once I start collaging and putting the papers down because I like to move things around and I like to go with the flow that how I feel once I start sticking it. I'm much happier with those pieces sitting like that than I had them the first time, which I can't even remember. <laughs> how they were but if you like to stick things down exactly how you plan it you can just take a photo i don't i just kind of go with the flow i work out what i want generally and then we just move along but if you do take a photo of your composition then you can stick things down exactly how you have them that works for you baby you just do it now that's a fabulous background what are we going to add i've got this glorious paper this is from taperology oh man i love this paper this beautiful white paper you will find a link in the description under the video for the art supplies that i love the most and you'll also find discount codes for taperology as well as pmo studio so if you want to know where to get any of these beautiful papers and art supplies, have a little look there. The information is all there for you. Love this paper. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's got this swirling pattern design on it. So that's going to work really well. It goes lovely and transparent when it's glued down. So where are we going to put it and how much of it do we want? Maybe not that much. We'll just take that slither off there. And I think we're going to put it maybe across there. Okay, let's try that. Now remember, if you put something down and you don't like it, you can change it. It doesn't have to stay that way. I'm really not sure exactly where I'm headed with this one. I just wanted to use that beautiful print because it was such a significant step for me, changed my life entirely, and here I am. <laughs> so that, to me, the design of that reminds me of my tamuku, which is the journey in coming home to New Zealand, finding my family, my history, my culture, my identity, my sense of self-worth, I know. <laughs> You see, it was a big step. So that's my step for this page, is that particular beautiful, love it, oh my gosh, print. We still have to finish our step on that page, but it's still drawing. So what else do we want to add? I've got all sorts of beautiful bits and pieces of scraps from my scrap bag. I don't mind that. That's a cool shape. Although we might want to put something significant here. Ooh, I am really liking that idea. I've got a beautiful bronze circle. That could work really well. And then we might pull out something a little bit different and special for the middle that goes with my theme. So that could work in there like that. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. I think that is going to work out really well. Now I want something just for that spot here. And I'm thinking maybe some of this fabulous moonscape paper. I used this in last year's 100 days of collage. And it's just so fascinating. What about a piece of something in there that could be cool? It's just a matter of deciding what size and where exactly I want to put it. I love that because you can see the other colours underneath coming through. That is so fun. And that's going to look really good there in the multiple layers. Oh, look at that coming through. That's fantastic. I love that. I love that. You know, now I want some more. 
Righto, we'll let that dry and then decide if we should plaster some more all over the place. Maybe some up there. <laughs> that corner's a bit dark now. You know, we could just add a little bit up there. Righto. I know, I'm doing it. You see how I change my mind as I start developing and creating the collage? And that's just part of the creative process. You've got to trust yourself and allow yourself to do that. Chop and change your mind, put things on, take things off. It's all part of the creative process and it's really fun. I did like that piece in the corner when I first started, but now I like the moonscape better. So that's going over the top. And allowing yourself to create like this is a really intuitive approach. It's a lot of fun and you never quite know where it's all gonna end up. That's what I love about it. The spontaneity and the excitement of seeing how it unfolds in the process of making it. Loving that, that looks fabulous. I just might add another little piece of the fabulous Taperology paper to this section here. Now I know that this beautiful paper dissolves really well once you glue it on and it looks quite transparent. So I'm just going to add another layer of that glorious texture onto that section and then I think I'm pretty happy. Now this is PowerShell. It's absolutely beautiful, of course. That's what it looks like in the rough and the raw, but when you grind it back and get all that off it, it looks like this. Absolutely amazing. Power is the Maori name of the um, sea snail and it's closely related to the abalone in America and other places of the world. There's actually 55 species of this particular sea creature. I don't like eating it personally. It's eh, not my thing, but I love the colors of the shell. <laughs> and I love the way you can see it in this one. I mean, who even thought to do that, grind all that stuff off it and find that? Absolutely beautiful. I love it. When mum and I came back to New Zealand, we were tripping around looking at different places and we had to go to Power World because I absolutely have always, always loved the power and I have always associated power with New Zealand. When I was a kid, I would come back to New Zealand and visit my dad. And I, I always gravitated to power, the colours, the shell, anything like this. So to me, it's New Zealand. We have to put a beautiful piece right there. But, you know, it's not going to be easy to choose a piece. <laughs> because I've got so many from Fabulous Power World. <laughs> and if you're visiting New Zealand, you need to go to Power World. It's amazing. Tells you all about the incredible creature and you can buy everything under the sun that is made of power or has power shell in it or on it or around it or under it. <laughs> it is fabulous. Yes, we spent hours there. So I'm going to pick a piece eventually for that middle piece there. I think that would finish my beautiful page off nicely in those glorious colours. And it's significant to me. I look at that and that to me is my journey home. And I think that's a fabulous page to finish for this glorious theme of steps and stairs because it was such a significant step in my life. I'm liking that one that's on there. I'm thinking, oh, that's a nice one too. I'm thinking I should just stop looking. Otherwise, I might confuse myself. Because there's just too many options. They are all, oh wow, just so beautiful. That's pretty nice too. Oh man. Okay, well I finally decided on the first original piece because it's a great shape. So I'm using PVA to glue that on. You can use the matte medium. PVA just grabs faster and I know it won't be a problem holding it on. Now that I found it <laughs> and finished unpacking all of those boxes, yay, I'm loving that. That just makes me happy. Yes, I have done lots of artworks in previous years with power, actual power sticking it in. Yes, I have. 
and I absolutely love it. Right, so we're back onto this side. It's dry enough to put some stairs on and I'm going to use this foam stamp from Piamata Studio. It's an Asemic writing stamp. And I think now if I put it like this, it would look like steps or stairs and that's what I'm doing. Now, I love to use the gel plate as basically my ink pad for when I'm putting the foam stamps on because I like using the acrylic paint. I like things thick and chunky. And yes, I decided to go with the red. I was tossing up between the red and the gold, but I ended up going with the red because it's very me. Now it might not take a perfect stamp because my page is very uneven and it has a lot of texture on it. But we're not gonna worry about that, are we? Because we're embracing our imperfections. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, that looks pretty cool. And why I like using my gel plate as my ink pad of acrylic paint is because then I'm gonna pull the print that's left there. How far up do I want? Oh, probably like that much. I hope. I love the texture of these foam stamps. I like the shape of this particular pattern and design and it works really well. Look how easy that is. So I'm gonna pull the print on my gel plate where I've taken the paint off to put on here. And it's a win-win, right? <laughs> it's a two for one deal. I absolutely love it. So there's my steps, a fabulous Asemic writing stamp. I love these foam stamps because they're so easy. They're so instant and that is very gratifying. I had to go with the red because it's very me. I love the red, black and white color scheme. That's probably my favorite color scheme. You might notice that sometimes. <laughs> I have a lot of red, black and white. And then the power and the turquoise and blue is pretty much my second favorite color scheme. So this is very me today. I know I got a little bit personal. I hope you can cope, but I'm feeling more relaxed in my new studio. And I'm loving this series of 100 days of collage. It makes me happy creating them. I love all the papers and the textures and the themes. We need something else for the middle there, I'm thinking. I don't think we're quite finished. We need something on our steps. Righto, I have to go and have a little rummage. Just when you thought it was all over, <laughs> it's not. So I was going through my scrap bag and my boxes and I've got so many options to put something else in the middle here. It's almost dry, almost. And then I was looking through, oh, so many bags of beautiful possibilities of course there are other incredible circles i can use there's other papers that i have and then i came across this beautiful card from pm Artist studio uh, when they sent me one of my stencil packs and i'm like hello that looks amazing so i'm going to use this i'm thinking that this could be really cool. I think I'll trim this down. It's got the red on it. It's a beautiful handmade little work of art in itself. And it works really well with my colors and the theme and the marks on it. So, you know, you gotta go with what works and it'll just be a nice change from adding a circle because I know, I know, I do know, I do get carried away with the circles. So let's go with something this time completely different. Something that one of my fellow artists have has made and sent me, which makes it very precious. And I'm thinking we could put it right here. Now we could put it off center. Yeah, I don't mind that actually. Or we could put it right up there. Yep. Or we could put it this way. No, we're going this way. And I'm thinking probably down a little bit. And the other question is, do we want some of the fabulous gossamer paper under it 
to add a bit more drama. You know, oh man, I love multiple layers. That's just how I am. I love to see all the interest and the texture. And it could be possible. I could put a little piece of that. Is it too much? Are we covering too much of my fabulous background? Do I want to trim it down some more? I do like the textures on the page. So I'm thinking that perhaps we should make it a bit shorter so I don't lose all those fabulous textures that are underneath. And we'll put it so it pops up the top like that and stands out a bit. Right up, I'll give you a close up when it dries. for joining me today i really hope you enjoyed this episode i know i did <laughs> so if you want to know where i get my art supplies the stencils the digital papers you'll find all of the information in the description under the video there's links and discount codes you gotta love that now don't forget i have a playlist for you where you can find all the episodes of this fabulous 100 days of collage and i hope to see you again next time in the studio